morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, Thursday, right? Thursday, second day of the conference. Am I right? Are we on the same day? Perfect. Uh, I have a sore throat after yesterday freezing opening. <laughs> so if you're on the same page with me, I have some good drops or bonbons or something like that. Should be safe. Uh, my name is Klára Jokolová. I am uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic ED, but as well proud member of the uh, CE Hub Steering Committee. And I will try to moderate this session today. I'm very happy that you're here in the morning. I, I saw empty corridors, so I really appreciate that you <laughs> woke up and uh, take your energy here. And I know that you're uh, really a uh, very colorful crowd here, so welcome. Hi, Michelle, we haven't seen you for a while. And uh, today what we like to do here is to give all of us a chance to talk more about what's going on with the Hub now, where we are. I'm very happy that uh, we have representatives of several Hubs here with us. This session will be held uh, as well by my colleagues because we somehow supplement Filip Kopecki, who originally prepared this session really thoroughly, but then he couldn't come. So we will go with the flow, we will swing slightly, and uh, uh, we prepared this with Barbara Klan, uh, who's like a uh, very famous coordinator of C Hub. <laughs> The most famous, yeah. The, the most famous C Hub coordinator. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Please I'm use your mic. The most famous C Hub coordinator. Exactly, the most famous and the best one. Uh, also the best coordinator we had so far. <laughs> Ever. Ever. <laughs> Beginning. <laughs> Yay. And we as well uh, has our. Uh, the best professor on the team, uh, Tony Sand. Uh, citation needed. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Take your take your chairs. There's two free chairs. So if anyone is standing, we don't really need them, and uh, you're happy to stand. Perfect. But maybe someone else will come, and he will be happy to sit. So. Um, uh, at, at le uh, as well, let me remind you that we are all in the safe space here and we are uh, here to have like friendly, open conversations. We don't necessarily need to agree with each other and uh, we are very welcome, different opinions, different points of view, but this is a uh, uh, safe space, so welcome. Let me, as well, before we start, uh, to introduce you the representatives of the hub that we are very uh, happy to have here. So uh, let's start with uh, from the north. Hopefully you will see my geography is not the best, but I'll try my best. So uh, we have Andrew Lee, who represents the Northern American Hub, and he will speak uh, on behalf of, uh, of this hub. Then, uh, OK, then how we take it? Then I hope we could have Anna Mazgal from Wikimedia Europe. And in the same time, I'll already introduce Barbara, who represents the CE hubs, that, that means Central and Eastern uh, Europe hub. Right, Tony? Okay. Then maybe we could uh, uh, present Reke Wang and Joyce Chen from ESEAP. I hope we still go so south. Uh, then, then it's tricky. Uh, Jose Ignacio Gallardo from uh, LAC, uh, LAC, LAC, yeah, Latin America hub. So, let, kind of, you, 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 can, you can say more later. And then we come to Wikifranca, probably. George, George Fodu is here to, to, to talk on behalf of Wikifranca. And then we have, uh, we go south, south, so we have Africa, he's West and East Africa. Rube represents the West Africa hub, and, and um, we don't have a right? 
Oh, so, oh, sorry, 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 we, we just met. Uh, and uh, yeah, my short memory as well, not best. Uh, and uh, Winnie uh, Cabinti. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, sorry, can you, can you say your name? Yeah, so Winnie is not here, but we are working together, yes, for Earth Hub. Thank you. That's it. And then the last but not least, we have Bobby from Viscom, Bobby Shabang, uh, Shabangu, that's it, right, thanks. I'll do my best not to forget. Did I, f is there any other hub representation that I forgot and you'd like to as well be part of this discussion? Okay, okay, so. Um, okay. Someone's there. Oh, hi, hi Sadiq, who do you represent? Light language diversity hub, perfect. Okay, so prepare for four questions you don't know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, uh, that's for the introduction, let's go. And the uh, proper introduction is coming from Tony, so I give him the, the word. Oh, uh, thank, you. thank you, Clara. Yes, uh, I mean, because uh, we want to make sure uh, that you are where you want to be this morning. Um, and so I think what we need to do is we need to uh, kind of outline, no, it's okay. We need to outline what uh, this session is, or at least how it's planned, and uh, what may be uh, some of the milestones, shall we call them, along the way that we may want to look at. Uh, it, so part of this is to uh, make sure that you're willing, if you can, to commit to the two hours. We're in here for two hours. Yeah, we do this in the open way, of course. Uh, you may leave and come back if you, if you want to. Uh, but ideally, you should be here for the entire two hours. Ideally, if you're not able to be here for the entire two hours, that you take an observer stance, unless you are one of the people who has just been named in this uh, roll call that we had um, at the start. Uh, we also uh, intended for the session to have perhaps um, a, broader, uh, a broader remit initially when it was proposed than uh, what we know and can see is practical to do uh, this morning. So essentially, even if you saw this on the program and uh, you thought that this is uh, where you would like to spend your uh, Thursday morning on the second day of Wikimania, the, 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 the key question here is what does the future of international collaboration and support structures in Wikimedia look like? Now, that's a, a very organizational question uh, to some degree, and in some ways it, it can be very meaningful and very useful. In other terms, it's perhaps uh, less practical. Yeah, less practical. So, what this uh, session is really about, if we kind of uh, do away with the, uh, with the official uh, kind of description of it, is you will have seen here that there are a number of representatives of um, um, communities, some of which are uh, fairly formally recognized already, uh, others that are perhaps in formation and, and still coming together. And so this is an opportunity for us to hear from each other in, in relation to this. This is, this is more of a hi, this is uh, what I'm interested in doing, or this is what we are already working on, and here's what we would like to share some questions that, that we have. Um, ideally, uh, this is open to uh, community members fully. There are a number of uh, a, a foundation staff I also see in the audience, and while, of course, uh, we want to have this conversation in an open way, uh, the ideal stance, again, for, for uh, foundation employees would be to be in the listening mode, of course, because uh, this is what, how it works. However, I also recognize that because we Wikimedians wear different hats, uh, some staff members may also uh, have a, a, a volunteer capacity, and uh, then perhaps in the way we switch user accounts in the Wikimedia projects, it would be useful to identify that that's the capacity that one uh, is perhaps speaking in uh, if, if you want to be part of the conversation. 
So uh, I, I don't think you know I should uh, labor this uh, too much, in the sense that what's going to happen next uh, would be a natural thing for me to do, and 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 this is to make sure. Again, as I said, because I see that we have had uh, quite a number of people join us even since I started speaking, that you do want to be here uh, this morning, and that you are in the right room right now. So uh, we feel for the people who are standing up because it means you will stand up for two hours. So uh, this, is, this, is, this is not quite right. I mean, there are some more chairs here. So per and, and there are more chairs coming, even better. Thank you, Anna. Thank, thank you very much for that. Uh, but again, as I say, the door is, is, is open for anyone uh, who needs to leave at any time. We will have a break. So um, the way uh, this will run is after we've done the first substantial uh, part of the conversation, and although this is billed as a workshop, you will see it's going to turn into a round table without the table uh, and, and without perhaps, you know, so round an arrangement. But um, we would like this uh, to be a conversation more than a workshop, where because in, in workshops most of the time, you know, have a task, and we try to uh, achieve that task in the given time. Uh, the task here is for us to um, have conversations and, most importantly, listen to one another. Yeah? All right. Uh, okay. I think I'll, I'll stop there, uh, and that's enough for now. So let me pass it on to Clara again, who will then pass it on to Barbara, right? That's how we decided we we're going to do it. You can say it all. In advance, then what I what I said. No, that's okay. I'll <laughs> shut up for Perfect. now. So yeah, uh, Don is always right. So he's right. I'm passing yeah. up to Barbara because she has the fun part. So we'll have one icebreaker. It's a simple one. Um, you should couple up with someone next to you, or if you don't like that person, then search someone else in the room. Um, it's for one minute. Um, you, it's just like for discussing, uh, so one minute, half minute, each one speaks for half a minute, uh, what brings you here, what you expect from this session. And then afterwards we'll ask if you hear something really interesting or um, that you want to share, you will be able to share with everyone. So it's very simple for Thursday morning. And if no one wants to speak later, we will just then call out some people. Okay, so the question stands, what brings you here to this session today? Please think about it for 30 seconds and then you can use one word, you can use one sentence, you can talk for a while with your partner or just like picture something or... And you, you don't really need to share then, so you can be frank while you're here in this room with windows. haven't started hearing what the other person has to say, this is the time to switch. Yeah, this is the time to switch if you haven't started hearing what the other person has to say. Clara. He's here too now. Yeah. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll, 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 yeah, I'll start very quickly. I will start with you guys. Questions, questions, questions. 
first question is So thank you, thank you. Welcome. Guys. Okay, let's start to bring it to a close. Let's start to bring it to a close, please. So we have time maybe for two or three uh, answers that would you would like to share. So is there anyone who feels like sharing their or their partner answer because it shouldn't be, it shouldn't stay uh, not known? Yeah, something that stood out to you. I mean, yeah. oh, I wasn't expecting this person I'm having this conversation with this morning to say this, you know? Um, so that's the kind of thing we would like a, perhaps two or three different people to share. Don't be shy. Forget, this is an uh, icebreaker. <laughs> Ruby is sharing, thanks. Okay, um, so Georges was telling us about um, Wikifanka Hub, and what amazed me about that is um, for him, um, he thinks that Wikifanka Hub is at the stage where they are already op implementing the hub um, strategy because they've moved beyond um, trying to, you know, explore what hub is. We, unlike the West Africa hub, where it's kind of new and we are trying to um, learn from other people's experience. So I feel like there's a lot that we can also learn from Wikifarm up Looking at the stage that they have reached. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You went deep, Camille. Can Camille get the mic? So we have this diversity, equity, and inclusion hub, which is uh, on the very, very beginning uh, state. And uh, I was happy to uh, understand that Jessica and Beverly uh, are here to support uh, these ideas, to see what, uh, what we need and uh, something like this. So we need uh, people to, to understand if it's uh, if it's a good idea and how to proceed further. Okay, so so far this looks like a um, big uh, introductory meeting. Uh, Jessica and Beverly from WMF who's taken care of hubs recently. So uh, welcome as well and know them. Uh, and of course, and, uh, and um, uh, Sal Salesh is here as well, sorry. Um, that's it. And, uh, any last, Sadiq, can you share? So I'm sitting next to um, one of the staff members from the foundation who works with the legal department. And I just realized, um, working with the foundation for six years, she's attending her first Wikivania, and she's also one of the people behind the contracts that we sign. So it's so exciting. <laughs> Because we have recently received a grant on behalf of the Language Diversity Hub. So I'm happy to know that someone like her is here. Thank you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. And uh, okay, this is how it is. Very the last quickly. one. Yeah, very quickly. Uh, I was impressed to see that the two people that I've known both for like many, many years didn't know each other. So I think that I acted as a hub and made them... Uh, no, connect to each other. Oh. Thanks, Delphine. 
So, uh, let's go to the first question that we have for the representatives. I always ask them if they're comfortable to stand up. If not, you can sit down. I always introduce you again because people are coming and going. So first I ask um, uh, Reke and Joyce, one of you, uh, to uh, maybe describe what's the current stage of a SEAB hub and um, how how are you guys now, what, what, what's been done already, and we will get to the plans uh, in, in the next question. Yeah, the ESAB is, uh, we almost in the final stage uh, uh, before it, uh, it's as a as And so uh, we have a, a, a chart, a, a draft chart uh, waiting to be reviewed and uh, uh, to be agreed by uh, the, the, the members. And uh, we have also confirmed to uh, conference one is uh, Sami in uh, Malina in 2025. And the next year, 2026, there is a conference in Kaohsiung. Thank you. Uh, so SAP means South and East Asia and Pacific, for the one who's not familiar with all the shortcuts that we use in the movement. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, then could you pass to Peter, and the same question goes to North American Hub. What's the current state of the Hub? Hi, I'm Peter from Wikimedia DC, the Washington DC area uh, chapter, and my colleague Ariel Citron and I um, we're funded by WMF to do a research on the North American area. We interviewed a lot of people, did some surveys, had some focus group workshops at, at our conference, and wrote a report. And now would like to get people to sign on to make a gentle sort of a agreement, forming a hub. The, the, the boundaries would be associated with our existing conference, which is the most important thing that happens. That it, and it, uh, it draws more than 200 people a year, and the people who come are happy. It cheers them up. So that's the thing we should build on and combine from. Thanks a lot. So survey makes people happy. Sounds good. Thanks. Uh, can you pass maybe here to Anthony? Anthony, what's What's the stage of East Africa Hub? All right, thank you. So uh, we have been funded by WMF to do research around the East African region on the possible possibility of forming East African regional and thematic hub. So yes, we did the research uh, in 2022, 2023, and now we are on a stage where now we do we want to do piloting. So the current state is that uh, we have submitted a grant uh, request to do the piloting phase. And we are so happy that uh, Jessica Beverly and her team are here who are supporting us to, you know, to go, go through that stage. But another thing that uh, will be responsible to host you, Kimania 225, I think most of you already know. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe yes. Winnie and some friends here. here. Geoffrey, you want supplement? Oh, Winnie, hi. No, no, no. It's okay. So, Wikimania, yeah, that's a, quite a small task. Uh, 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 okay, can you pass please to Jose? And Jose, what's, what's the current stage of uh, luck? Luck, 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 luck up. Yeah, well, uh, we just uh, meet uh, a couple months ago, a group of uh, th three or four members, so that's why it's kind of happened. So we are trying to 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 look what or to search uh, what's the future of our regional collaboration beyond uh, the... Uh, we, we have a similar initiative uh, in the regional sense, Iverocop. Um, but it's not properly uh, happy, uh, and, and so that's why we we are we strongly believe that the future of the collaboration within the movement and in a global sense uh, should be um, gu guided for for for, for uh, hubs for for this uh, for this work. So um, uh, that's basically what. Uh, 
Where? So Latin America that should cover ideally Central and South America. Oh, this is like the big yes. question. Yes, our region, in our regional sense, yes. Uh, and all the territories, the countries, uh, not, not only the countries, so mm. the territories, uh, maybe the islands in the, the Caribbean uh, that belongs to the Netherlands and the UK and uh, France, uh, the French Guiana, for example, too. Uh, they are also marginalized uh, groups in our region. Uh, always we talk about the Spanish speaking in Portuguese, Brazil, so that's the, the, the biggest ones. And... Uh, But also, I think, and also on behalf of Wiki for Minorities, an emerging group, uh, I strongly believe that uh, we also have uh, uh, something to say about uh, uh, and, and in this in this collaborative group. Thank you, thank you, uh, Bobby. You're representing Viscom here. I believe you are the organizers of, of Wiki in Daba meeting. So, what's the current stage of your Hub intentions or sure. Thank you so much. So as you said, um, we are the week in Dava Steering Committee. We were formed. Um, it's it. We were formed to uh, organize the week in Dava conference, which is a conference that brings together Africans. Uh, uh, and and the, the committee is formed by previous organizers of the conference uh, to relieve. Um, uh, the previous organizers, you know, of the work that it takes to organize the conference, basically. So <clears throat> we want to migrate from being a committee to being a hub now. And we are in the process of um, consulting with the communities within the African uh, continent to see how will that look like. We've already received funding uh, in that regard to um, to consult with the communities as well as to hire staff that will help us to migrate from being a committee that only organizes the conference to being a hub. And we're also in con consultations with the other hubs that are in existence within the African uh, continent. So, yeah. Perfect, thanks. So like you're bridging east and west maybe in my, at least in my head. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. So, uh, we can go to south, no, north, this is north, to Vicky Franca. So what's your current stage? Thank you, Clara. Um, I like to say that uh, when we talk about her Vicky Franca was there. When we begin to talk about that herb, Vicky Franca was there. And about us, I can say that we have now many things that we we done. Uh, we You've have, been incorporated, right? Yes, Vicky Franca is 25 members. Members is user group, chapter, and association. And we have, uh, uh, in March, the month of contribution. Francophone contributor join in March to contribute. This is our activities in March. We have also uh, our uh, international meeting, uh, Wiki Convention Francophone, in October, every year. Uh, we also now uh, uh, have a grand committee. Yes. Uh, we are now, we just received the um, grand research research grant and uh, in the next month we will have a contractor to uh, manage it, this grant research. This is our different uh, activities now. But we are now planning to communicate about our 2024 and 2025 plan, activity plan. This is what I can say for beginning, yes. Perfect. Thanks. So I think what's just like small comment that uh, there are maybe just two hubs that has been incorporated. That means it has um, independent organization, which is Wikifranca and Wikimedia Europe. So they can share their experiences as well if you are interested in incorporation. Th this was their way. The others in uh, C Hub, including our pilot projects, they they are usually some fiscal sponsorship. This is how it works, like uh, in organization. Thing. Just to add that. Yes. yes you, you mentioned something. You add that we are now the 
legal NGO. Le now, yeah, yes. legal entity NGO. Yeah. We will now try to see how to have our own bank account. This is our next challenge, yes. Exactly. Mm. Perfect. Thanks. Thank so we go to West, to Ruby. So what's the current stage of uh, West Africa Hub now? Okay, so um, I think the ne the West Africa Hub is, is at the early stage, that's what I'll say. And a lot of meetings have been held among leaders in the West Africa community trying to explore how we can go about it. And um, we've also had to learn from other communities like the CE Hub where we've had Philip attend most of our meetings to share their experiences. We are learning from the Earth Hub research that was also done. And I think we have Sadiq too on board who also shared his experience on the Language Diversity Hub. We also have Sandesta and Felix from the foundation exploring ways that we could tap into their support. Um, also, we are the needs assessment stage because before we could even think about applying for a grant, we don't have a grant yet to do any research. We need to assess the needs, talk to the communities. And so we have two committees at the moment. We have the research committee of which I am part of. And then we also have the communications committee working together. It's, it's not that easy to bring a lot of people together and trying to meet all the time. But yeah, we see that the, the CE Hub also went through that kind of um, thing. So all of these learnings are also so that we don't um, uh, repeat or go through some of the challenges. We can identify them on time and see how we can mitigate it. Um, yeah, so more of a learning stage at the moment, and we hope to share more when we get to that point. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. If you can pass to Sadiq, uh, you mentioned him, so he can he can continue. So diversity and equity hub, Sadiq, this is, is it the uh, right title of that? Language. Diversity. Language and diversity hub. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. So um, for us, uh, I would say we've... Uh, come a long way um, because we are in our second grant. Um, the first one was to conduct a research to understand some of the challenges that smaller language communities faced, especially um, in Africa. And that was last year. And the next stage was to build uh, a strategic document that would govern the hub and also help us structure uh, our leadership, we have a steering committee, which are members from the Wikimedia uh, Language Committee and other foundation staff who are working to support smaller language communities. Some of them are here. Silesh is one of the people uh, observing on the advisory. We have uh, folks like Amir, who is helping a lot with um, smaller language communities in Africa specifically. And myself, um, being the ED for the Dagwan Wikimedians User Group, I work to support 16 mutually uh, intelligible languages spoken across Ghana, Benin, and Burkina Faso. And we are currently working on five languages who are um, mainly spoken in Ghana and some part of Togo. Um, Yeah, so our current grant would help us connect to the communities directly and also provide uh, um, technical support, build capacity for community leaders who are working on language specific projects. Um, our initial research um, discovered several challenges and the topmost ones were three. One has to do with um, Finance is like uh, getting funding from foundation. We understand that some of these community leaders don't know how to write uh, compelling grant applications to get funding to support their projects. The other one has to do with capacity, uh, especially um, those working in the incubator. They need um, some technical uh, skills to be able to support their language, or those who, ha who, who are already published also need some form of um, skills to be able to uh, you know, uplift the published languages. And then uh, we also need to um, address the challenges that are related to, uh, you know, 
we have social barriers that is stopping uh, volunteers, especially young people, from contributing to Wikipedia projects in Africa. The technical barriers also include um, understand of the translate wiki interface and also the incubator some of them find it very difficult to navigate around the incubator because uh, the process of you know setting up an incubator is very simple but how to create content in the incubator is quite difficult especially new newbies um, and when you compare working in the incubator in a published Wikipedia language, you would see the difference. It is rather the reverse. Working in the incubator is very difficult than the published Wikipedia article. So they have these challenges that we understand. And regarding um, keyboard support for some languages, uh, especially the Mabia languages, they have special characters that are not available on um, Android and iOS. About 70% of some of these communities that we interviewed during the research process were people using mobile phones to edit Wikipedia in their local languages, and they don't have um, these keywords on their mobile phones. And we also understand the challenges that are related to IP blocks and then uh, cost of internet data within these regions. So we want to build uh, a structure to support these communities, and that's where we are now, um, starting from um, next month, we'll be reaching out to so many of these committees, provide technical support, committee uh, engagement sessions, and also capacity building for all of them. Yeah. Thanks. You already uh, answered the next three questions. What are you planning in I next six months? What are your challenges here, and what would you need? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I, I won't remember that. So I think others can help me. But thank you, Sadiq. I think it would be as well interesting question because you represent kind of language hub, but this is as well like regional uh loops and uh so this is uh something maybe for next conversation somewhere else and as well like uh, as you mentioned i i hear like the overlap between maybe affiliate and hub and where are the like the borders what's what's first what's what's next so thanks that you bringing the huge uh, huge topics Thanks. Um, hey, clarify me. Hey, no, I'm over here. It's not the voice of God. It's just me. <laughs> hey, no, hey, hey, hey. no, Am hey. I too loud? no, 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 no. Hey, because I think it's something I forgot to say in the introduction, uh, which is quite useful, I think, for everyone to know. There are notes being taken for this session. So I see that uh, quite a few of you have devices and perhaps you want to follow this. There I thought that maybe we can then present them in the second yeah. Yeah, second it. half that, that's, uh, why, that's here. why I wanted to point them because out. Because we have Etherpad and Tony's, Tony's trying and as well I think we have volunteer who's trying. So yeah, we, we, have, mix we have it volunteer together. note takers and we have Tony taking notes on the Etherpad. So there's an Etherpad the way there is for every session in Wikimania. You get that through the Wikimania website and you go to the session for this room, which is uh, Tbilisi, right? Yeah. Tbilisi. Yes. yes. Um, so, so, and so these questions uh, that our uh, hub or hub information representatives are addressing are also uh, outlined within, within this etherpad. And we thought this would be a more uh, Wikimedia friendly way of doing this rather than having flip charts which is uh, what we had originally planned, or rather what we considered when we were planning uh, this session. Sorry, Clara. I'll thanks, thanks, Tony, that's definitely valuable. So, Anna uh, represents here uh, Wikimedia Europe, which is, as I said, already the second uh, purely uh, incorporated organization. Don't go into the details with the king and months and months, but please tell us what's your current state. It's yeah, it's not, I agree, it's not relevant at all right now. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, yeah, Wikimedia Europe uh, is indeed incorporated, and I think we're still in the startup mode because that happened uh, structurally at least. It happened um, last year. Um, um, more than a year ago, but we have this uh, also, you know, 10 uh, years of work in Brussels because this is where we are seated uh, uh, because of the European Union, which is this political structure that we talk to about how to protect a Wikime Wikimedia project, right? So this work has been done earlier than, than the hub was incorporated. This is relevant from the perspective that um, uh, our work is 
going kind of business as usual. But of course, the fact that we structured it better and also our staff grew in the last year has implications on how the organization as a structure is working. So currently, uh, we, we grew from uh, since the, the incorporation from two uh, to five. Um, so there are more roles in the organization and um, these roles are connected to how we can work but also how we can support our members because Wikimedia Europe is an organization that defines itself as a support structure. Um, so we do the work that members individually either couldn't do or need help with uh, doing. So public policy and advocacy in the EU being one of the things. The other is fundraising um, and tapping the funds that are available for Europe right now. Uh, we are looking both into the funding for Wikimedia Europe as a structure and our public policy work, but also we are looking and sending information to people, uh, to, to our members and everybody really in Europe, because uh, our membership is institutional, but we also have other groups that are there that, uh, that uh, we consider uh, also important. Anyways, we send them also information about uh, whether there's funding available and we want to make it in a more structured way and the support uh, needs to grow. Um, so our capacities right now help us to work more with the members, also in terms of setting up how they envision Wikimedia Europe supporting them, because it's we can have ideas and capacities that, that we can put into this, but it only makes sense if it's useful, right? So uh, we're discussing now the fundraising policy and also other topic is how our members see Wikimedia Europe as part of global movement. I will talk more about this uh, but uh, later when we talk about plans, but this is where we are right now. And um, um, I think that uh, we are in this nice moment right now that because also we grew in terms of staff that we are basically trying just to work together without any sudden more burst of, of growth to basically make sure that the, the machine runs smoothly and then we can en uh, embark on other adventures. Thanks. Uh, like, good to say that you follow the long period of uh, work, of great work, uh, of free knowledge advocacy group in Brussels. So this was more like um, changing the structure and transition, so you have a long history of actual policy and advocacy work, and you are you have your colleagues here as well. And so, uh, if anything about advocacy, definitely goes to Anna and their colleagues. And um, Barbara, what's the current stage of C Hub? Uh, so, okay, some things you have heard by now, we are not incorporated, we also don't have plans at this point to do something about it. We are in our second year of implementation, so first year was piloting phase. I would also say that the second one is piloting. Um, obviously, as, as we work also as a pro see how it works as a project and initiative, so we are following our yearly plan. Um, we have activities. Everything is dedicated to supporting both uh, communities, individuals, and affiliates. But we have three areas, administrative, programmatic, and uh, com related to communications. Mm -hmm. And besides this, in year two, we also focused on micro-grants and capacity building of smaller communities. So we are following our, well, this yearly plan. We are with two, em we, two employees since first year, Tony is here, uh, well, you, you know him, uh, and also now in the second year and due to capacity building of smaller communities, we have uh, four new staff members part-time, um, some are working as really employees and the others uh, as contractors, some of them are here and they are basically support, they, they are supporting uh, Greece, Cyprus, Moldova, Romania. Um, we are also busy with governance. This is something that we try to define during first year, but topics like uh, incorporating and governance are <laughs> something that is n very important, but uh, also time consuming and um, not easy. So uh, at this point, we are busy with redefining our steering committee membership and also in the process of um, deciding about new steering committee members. And um, yeah, I would wrap it up here. Thank you, guys. Um, this was the first round of four questions we prepared. Uh, is there, uh, after this first session, any questions that you would like to ask the representatives now, before the break? Perfect. So, 
Um, now you know what this session is about. Uh, we have 10 minutes break. You're free to come or not after the break because we will continue like this. And uh, hopefully we will have uh, some time for discussion at the end, but we'll see. So uh, please, if you can, can come at uh, 11 sharp. Enjoy your break.
our speakers and this is the time where we'd like to open like more discussion phase of this session so I'll ask Peter and uh, uh, and Reke with uh, choice to come come closer and thanks a lot Jessica to come closer and uh, I will open with a set of follow-up questions which are mainly Peter Peter can you please come in front as well thanks yeah. perfect and George thanks so the follow-up question is the plans and challenges for the next six months and we can start now with Barbara maybe and just to Anna yes do you have a chair Anna yes one is here perfect so what's what the what are the main plans and challenges for the next six months that CE hub is expecting uh, so okay our primary focus now during this month was uh, was well to prepare for Wikimania to some extent and as I mentioned, doing our uh, ongoing activities. And during the next six months, the biggest thing definitely is preparing a new grant proposal, which um, would have to be prepared actually during, the, during August this month, uh, because we want to start then consultations with communities, affiliates, and also use, a s and also use a s our C meeting, which takes place in September in, uh, in Istanbul to then also have workshop about next year, get well, as many comments as possible and suggestions, and then create final region wi which will be submitted, hopefully somewhere uh, late September, October. Um, obviously, apart from preparing new grant, we have all the activities that we are uh, implementing, micro grants, uh, concrete support for communities that I mentioned, uh, our programmatic things, newsletter, uh, grant support, so business as usual plus grant application. Thanks. Anything uh, more or different uh, at uh, Northern, Northern America Hub? I guess in the next six months, we would like to get at least 10 groups offering services to North Americans to sign on to say what the hub is. It requires an agreement about what the hub is, what they are agreeing to, but that can be minimal. Uh, and then we should be able to offer an online newsletter, hopefully a GLAM camp where people learn to get professional training on how to work in GLAMs and Wikimedia. Uh, I don't know if about six months, but we should be offering micro grants to places in the US that have no chapter. So making an agreement is the most important thing in the next six months. Delphine? Yes? Um, Hi, I'm Delphine. Um, I'm an advisor to the CE Hub, uh, uh, kind of an advisor to Wikivonka. Uh, actually, I would like to kind of uh, we've lost a lot of people, <laughs> and I think that uh, I'd be actually interested in hearing about all of you, uh, your fears and your hopes uh, uh, as for being a hub or becoming a hub. I feel that uh, we've talked a lot about uh, the things, like the things that are happening, etc. But I, I'm, I'm trying to look to the future, and since there were so many people here, uh, I'd be really interested to hear what do you think a hub is going to bring uh, to your region, to your, uh, to your work? Yeah, thanks. We will get to that, but we will continue with the first question. Thanks. Uh, Anna, the plans and challenges that you could add to what was already said, or what's the plans for the next six months and challenges in, in Wikimedia Europe? Uh, well, I think six months uh, is, is a fairly planned perspective, meaning that we really uh, hope to just consolidate our work and get just our systems in better order. It's not super exciting, I know. At the same time, we found out that uh, our uh, grant proposal to an external funder on researching disinformation around elections and how Wikipedia is uh, excelling at that work has been accepted. So we were going to, um, it's thanks to my colleague that is not in the room, Valentina, um, uh, uh, 
that uh, we will basically be putting this project into place. It's in pa with partners, so uh, so that's also exciting to uh, to have those external partners coming in and helping with the research and and basically bringing this together. It may also result uh, in something that we would really love to see, which is that we really feel we need a network coordinator to really take care of our members and always be in touch with them and always make sure that. Um, that basically uh, we know what their needs are, what's the sort of the temperature, what their fears are, what their hopes are, and uh, so that we can better support them. So this grant provides uh, seed funding to get that person, but that's not going to be in the next six months, uh, I guess, um, um, maybe a bit later, but it's, it's a very good development and supports our core work. So as I see it, like the challenge is to like stay in touch with your members and somehow like to create the network in between them. Uh, the challenge is, I think, to I think we had a very good energy and a lot of trust that has built up on the ten years of our work in Brussels that helped us pr progress with establishing the organization and and this good cooperation that we have. I think the challenge is to keep the momentum going, right? It's easy to be excited at the beginning, right? But then people come with their uh, a lot of uh, needs that are very valid and and ne very needed, but we also still have the capacities that we need to divide, right? So the challenge is how to make sure that everybody understands that we do what we can, but we cannot do everything, and that also we understand what is important for the members so that we can have a plan how to meet this. If not this six months, then the next or, or next year or whatever the perspective would be. Bob, is this something that you know from Viscom, this like uh, initial momentum of people got excited and how do, to keep them uh, excited? Is this something you challenged as well? Um, <laughs> I did not understand the question actually. <laughs> Uh, and I was talking about this momentum of starting something new. I, I believe like Wiki Indaba is yes. here for some time. Yes. And you want to transfer now into the the hub. Yes. So what are like the overall plans for next six months? How to keep oh. this momentum going? Yeah, so the what what had happened was we came up with a strategic document of how, what we want to achieve as a hub. And the biggest hurdle really has been the consultation of the entire African continent because Wiki Indaba Steering Committee, it is a committee that was set up to organize the Wiki Indaba conference. And every end of that conference, people will share with us their challenges, you know, from different African countries. And then, you know, Wiscom basically became that custodian to say we are the ones that are looking after, you know, the the challenges of the people and we're looking after, you know, we, we, we're looking at how to solve those problems. But now we wanted to find a way of how can we consolidate all of these challenges and what are the uh, platforms that we can use to consult with all of the um, African communities. We realized that we cannot remain as a committee. We need to uh, expand to be a hub. So we set up a strategic document uh, where the African community was basically involved. The challenge with that was that we did not have uh, someone that was um, a coordinator, basically an employee of the of WISCOM. But we have applied for funding, and the fr funding were, were, was approved and were, were granted. And now we've hired a coordinator. What we are doing, and what this is what's going to be happening in the next WISCOM, which will take place in October, is that... <clears throat> We are going to um, do second consultation of that strategic document. We call it a Wiscom Charter. And then from there, we are going to ratify that document, basically. And then we're going to move ahead and be a hub. Mm. OK, so that's challenging enough, the ratification, right? So, <laughs> um, what about Vicky Franca? You already got incorporated. You talked about your current stage, about memberships. Do you share this challenge about like getting people involved enough and how to create like the platform for co real cooperation? <clears throat> okay, about Wiki Franca, um, we now have many things. Uh, the first uh, element is our next uh, conference in November in Quebec. Uh, this is 
I want to list first, and also after that, I will share with you our pilot project for 2024 and 2025. We have a Wiki Convention Francophone in Quebec in November. We have in March, Moi de la Contribution Francophone. In March, all our communities contribute in March. And we have now to, f to recruit our contractor uh, for, for, for grand research. This is the huge um, activities that we need to do. But uh, I want to share something about the future. The future is what I'm from Africa. And I want to say that we have uh, around uh, 19 members of Wikifranca coming from Africa. I, for myself, I know more the problem, the difficult that African community have. And the, our challenge on Wikifranca, I, don't, I know that we have Wikimedia France, Wikimedia Canada, Wikimedia Belgium, and Wikimedia Switzerland. Our first challenge is is to uh, um, support the African communities. Why? In our uh, 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 um, um, pilot project, we want to create the um, train the trainer in different specific domains. In Francophone area, for example, we have some Wikimedian who are, who are a, a teacher. We want to improve their skill like Wikimedian. We have some uh, 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 community who have, uh, would discover Wikidata. We want to train them to be a trainer. We have many, many things. This, this is plan now. We need just to communicate and begin to do during 2024 and 2025. This is what we plan to do for the next six and one years. Thank you. Yeah. We have many things. I also I want to add that we have in uh, in Wiki Frankas seven new communities who, who, who are affiliate. The f one problem is sometimes in Africa is that many communities uh, uh, didn't know how to plan activities. We prepare. We are prepared to help them to have, for example, three month activities, six month activities. Yes. So what I'm hearing, correct me if I'm wrong, as you more like represent, let's say, definitely language hub as Vicky Franca, uh, you as well are in the stage where you might be planning to provide like maybe educational services and like direct support of your uh, even editors. So it's like maybe as well s slightly different state then we have, I don't know, in C Hub when we more support like whole communities or affiliates because you have this like language scope and to, so this is uh, I think interesting enough because the language hub, let's say maybe thematical hub, uh, which we doesn't have that much yet, maybe, maybe Sadiq can cover it now, and uh, regional hub, they de definitely might have uh, different uh, different uh, tasks and different plans and we were looking uh, forward to your conference in October because I okay. hope this 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 will be the space to discuss this further yes Wikifranca is about French we just we have we talk just about French we have a community francophone communities yes this is our it's a, lang a linguistic hub, if we can talk about the hub. And we, we I think about, I want to sometimes uh, uh, share my own perspective about the hub. I think that when we talk about the hub or the, the thing that we want to do uh, uh, on the hub, we need to choose one, one domain or one way. When I see, for example, um, Wikimedia Rio, I, I appreciate that because they are focused on just on uh, advocacy. I, yes, we need to think about one thing mm -hmm. 
that can help our help help or our communities. As you But, said, to help like the as well the others to prioritize and maybe uh, like help them to support slightly more strategic. Yes, thinking. for us it's about African community first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. This is, I think, would be as well shared with like uh, in C Hub uh, to, on first place, support uh, uh, underrepresented communities in Wikifranca. This could be more like uh, maybe African communities in it. Mm. Thanks, Sadik. Um, uh, Language Diversity Hub. Uh, what's uh, like the biggest challenges? And mm, because you already covered the plans, uh, and you touched your challenges, so maybe anything different than you heard so far? What do you challenge? Okay, thank you. So, um, as you may be aware, the Language Diversity Hub was um, born out of an initiative called the Language Wikimedia Language Initiative in 2012, and uh, when we started talking about the hub, how we can support smaller language communities. We just adapted the original plan that they laid down with the initiative, um, lang Wikimedia Language Initiative. And right now, the challenge is, if you ask me, is we had like a steering committee, an active steering committee made up of, as I mentioned, foundation staff and also the Wikimedia Language Committee uh, who facilitate the approval of new language, new versions of Wikipedia. and. Um, We also have uh, volunteers who are specifically working uh, in the capacity of like language support, technic providing technical support for language communities. And the challenges right now is bringing all these, like regularly communicating with them, uh, like the steering committee itself, and also integrating affiliate lists into the committee. We understand the importance of having like representations of not just individuals from different affiliate and also like uh, different language projects. We also see the need to have like representatives of affiliate that are working to support languages. And those that we've identified so far, or previously we were under Wikimedia Norway, who supported the whole initiative from the first uh, grant stage, supporting us with their staff members and giving us all the skills that we need to like, and also the structure creating uh, an open space for us to bring people together to discuss. So that was what we started with. Now we need to bring more affiliates. We need to have like not just uh, one affiliate, but uh, Wikimedia we've identified. Now we are working with Wikitongs, who serves as a fiscal sponsor for our initiatives right now. We want to bring on board Wikimedia UK, uh, also back Wikimedia Norway, because you know we are starting a new conversation with them again to see how best we can still work with them in, moving forward. So, and then Wikimedia, we want to also make sure these affiliates are coming from not just one region, but different um, other regions of the world, like Africa, Asia, and stuff like that. So that is the current stage, if you ask me, in terms of challenges that we face. Uh, we, we don't get like uh, the rapid response that we need from them because we need to move forward with the governance structure. I also mentioned the strategic document we designed. This took us nine months because Um, after our first grant, we needed to build on the research that we conducted, the um, challenges that we identified in the research, but we didn't have um, the structure, the governance structure. So we were asked to go back and then work on our structure because we are not like uh, a regional hub, we are a thematic hub. We need, we need to build like a, a strategic document that would govern the, uh, you know, the steering committee members and also leadership in terms of how we conduct uh, our activities and stuff like that. So it took us nine months to come back to the grant, which was recently approved, um, thanks to Yope and the team. Now we have Jessica and Silish who are going to be supporting us to implement this project. So the next stage with the grant is to um, provide um, direct support, like organizing committee office hours for language committees uh, to come and share some of these um, challenges that they face or we also want to relay back to them some of the research findings that we, we, we identified and how we can help them, you know, address them. And one major challenge we face right now as a hub is the facilitation of, facilitation of uh, incubator language projects. A lot of people complain about how um, the approval process is longer and also challenges with uh, media wiki translation, the translate wiki, technical challenges that are specific to language, smaller language communities. And 
this grant would help us connect more with them, provide, we, so we've also identified special um, initiatives that would be, le uh, would be led by some of our steering committee. I, I will be one of the people who will be reaching out to them on a monthly basis during the committee office hours to tr train them, provide technical support based on what we identified, like the incubator process, how they can, you know, navigate around these challenges and also the discussion right now is about whether we should continue to use the incubator because there's like a lot of challenges with it should we think about having other different ways of testing new language projects or you know still imp working with the incubator but improving the user interface it's really many of you would uh, agree with me if you have worked in the incubator you realize that working in the incubator if you are a new contributor you be frustrated and you run away so how do we help improve the user interface generally so that's the major challenge people face aside from the approval process which takes longer right and okay, also thanks so, sorry sorry sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, sorry if i can just summarize uh, if i heard uh, right uh, mostly maybe you'd like took over the challenges that uh, that already was there with like language committee or the incubator yeah. and as a hub you basically that they are, these are your challenges now and you are trying to navigate now and as well I heard the second part like bringing more people on board and and do this like really like the diverse diverse platform yeah Thanks. Thanks a lot. Anthony, uh, East Africa, anything uh, you could add or any special challenge you facing now or in the plan for the next six months? All right. Thank you. So um, before going to apply for this grant that I updated you before, we have worked hard to consolidate uh, a working document or a project plan for the first year of implement, implementation for the hub for piloting. So uh, I would say we have not started yet doing more of the activities since the grant is not yet there yet. So uh, maybe one of the challenges uh, that uh, will be more uh, after we get started with doing the real activity, that's where, where we'll know the challenges. But for now, we are yeah looking forward for that. Sure, thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, and yeah, uh, what about SAP? Uh, how? Uh, what are your major challenges now? Okay, uh, as the yesterday, I will ask the I, I will answer the question in Chinese. Then Joyce will help Perfect. us. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, we. 接下来有两件两件事情要做，那同时也有两个挑战。呃，第一件事情就是，如同我回答第一题，我们现在有一个章程正在等待通过。那本来计划是我们会参考运动章程做最后一个版本的修正，但是大家知道运动章程并没有通过。那我们要抱怨这件事情，因为我们也确实对他有一些意见，但是，呃，现在没有通过。运动章程没有通过的情况之下，我们怎么样修正会，呃，会比较好？会不会我因为我们跟上了运动章程类似的结构，所以反而变成是被挑战的这个理由？这是第一件让我们担心的事情。So the first challenge is、uh, continue with the previous answer that we are going to have our own ECF charter being ratified. But however, we're also waiting for the movement charters, uh, the reflection of the hub session, which now move on, move to the supplement documentation. So um, we're kind of stopped in the point that how will it be written in the movement charter and reflected to our own charter. If we um, go in front of the movement charters, um, what that will be like in the future, and how can we make an amendment to do the reflection? The second thing is that we hope to be able to write the first draft of our annual support plan. But 呃，根据过去的会议或是沟通，我们得到了非常多大家的愿望。那个愿望清单我没有仔细统计，但希望应该是差不多可以还整个太平洋啊。那呃，在第一年我们能够拿到预算跟人力都有限的情况之下，哪一些我们应该优先去做？那这些决定会不会让被排除在外的社群有一些意见？这也也可能是我们要面临的问题。
And the second challenge is we are uh, then we wanted to have our first pioneer grant project, but uh, previously we actually have uh, supported from the foundation and both done some uh, workshop in the last uh, Wikimania that we collect so many wish lists from the community, and um, we haven't really settled down to see which one is the one that we're going to put uh, in the, our pioneer project. And we're also fear, fearing that having collecting so many wish lists, if we haven't able to fulfill some of them in the first year, will we uh, have some um, negative voices from the community? That's all, thanks. Uh, so, um, uh, with like the ratification of your charter, I know that you are also going this like let's say um, governance strategic way and try to like navigate this around. Thank you that you mentioned as well like the uh, let's say global strategy that uh, that is needed uh, in this phase. Thanks a lot. So Ruby and uh, 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 West Africa Hub, uh, anything from your side, the challenges? <clears throat> yeah, so um, concerning the West Africa Hub, um, as we heard from Bobby, the WISCOM is more like a bigger umbrella. And most of you might be wondering if we have WISCOM, why do we need West Africa Hub? And the reason we need West Africa Hub is because we want to tailor the, then we want to work to tailor solutions for the West Africa people. Africa is a big continent, but we have so much diversity in terms of culture, in terms of the way we think. And so having a West Africa Hub is so important to us. And we are not looking at just affiliates, we're looking at affiliates, not recognized affiliates and individuals in the continent. So we currently um, are looking at a strategic direction. But first of all, we're looking at completing our needs assessment by this year and also doing a research. So that also requires some kind of funding to conduct our research, come up with our strategic direction, and also see how we can work collaboratively so that we avoid overlap because um, we have the language diversity, we have so many hubs. How do we ensure that we are not repeating the same thing that someone is already um, producing? Because if you look at the language diversity hub, it's definitely going to cut across the whole Africa because we all speak different languages. But then we don't want to do it in a sense that we're repeating the solutions that um, language diversity have is already solving in terms of uh, helping to incubate. So that might not necessarily be our strategic direction, but um, we, yeah, we have a goal to support in a way that we're working collaboratively with all the hubs that are in West Africa so that we tailor the needs, localize it, and come up with a strategic direction. I think that's what we're currently focusing on. Thanks, Rubit, for mentioning this. I think this as well may be in the minds of most of us how to uh, define, how to be clear, because the, we are mostly in like some kind of like defining stage, strategic strategic phase, and then the, there's the, the space for col collaboration and, and finding the overlaps and where we can support, where we can teach from each other. So there was the question for from uh, Delphine, uh, um, what, and I, I give it to anyone from you who feels like this is the, the right question for you. What are the biggest fears? Delphine, was this the, it, yeah, and what, yeah, fears and hopes as you thinking about setting up a hub or developing it. So, uh, Peter? Yeah, I'll answer first because I think it's easy. I'm afraid that we won't quickly agree to make a hub. If we do, I have the hope and expectation that we will quickly publicize our events across the continent to one another, and that will be an easy success people will be happy with. Thanks. Bobby? Yeah, so the fears that uh, we have, um, uh, I think my colleagues has already um, touched on some of the, the things that uh, uh, we, are, we want to do. But the fears really that we have is, um, I don't know how to put this, but the consultation, you know, consultation and ratification 
is very, very critical for us, you know, as we scum. <clears throat> we don't want to consult and leave other people out. Because if that happens, people will not feel that they are part of the process. Uh, so the fear is to be not inclusive for us. Mm -hmm. Inclusion is very, very much important. Uh, so that's basically the fear. We need to be inclusive and we need to make sure that as a hub, we're not coming uh, to dictate things to people, but people are partners, user groups. They come, we all form partnerships with all the other user groups. Uh, we are not coming as a big brother here and telling people what to do. So that's the fear, inclusion, really. And hope, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So we hope um, we hope that process of in, of, of consultation uh, will 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 go according to how we planned in our strategic document, and if that happens, uh, we hope to have a hub that will serve all the African communities really, and everyone will feel that they are represented by the hub really. Uh, that's 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 our hope, um, and. Yeah, not, not to repeat what she said, uh, my colleague said there, uh, but we are not looking at working in silos. We are also not looking to repeat uh, some of the um, efforts that they are, they are doing. We're looking to make sure that uh, we identify exactly what we want to achieve as, um, as, as, as an African hub. Thanks, Bobby. My hope is George, yeah, George. Uh, the question went to uh, hopes and yes, fears. Okay. My hope is um, to have in the future uh, many reference in Africa communities in different uh, domain. Wikidata, we can have, we can say that. This person, this person is, is very is a reference in uh, Wikidata, uh, Wiktionary, uh, Wiki sources. Uh, this is my hope, because is Wikifranca. We have 25 communities, but most of them is from Africa. We need to support and have a reference in Africa in those different uh, domain. My fear is what is um, to not have a person support to train. Hmm. To train, yes. I'm 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 a French. I I'm from francophone. I'm from francophone. But when I see every training. Every uh, courses is in English. And we have in Wikifranca some communities who is not, is just French. When you have a meeting or training in, in, in English, is, we are not be sure that it's not good for them. But I, for me now, I think that it's good for, to have training in French for French communities, yes. Yeah, thanks. Yes. Thank you, George, as well, that you are using English right now. And if you can pass to Anna uh, for now, because we missed her. Anna, what's your... You didn't. Thing? I'm here. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping I'm not cutting in front of everyone, because I don't see all of you guys. So, yeah. Um, I, uh, I want to also speak about hopes, because I think uh, it's better to start from a hope than from a fear. It takes us further somehow, and I think this is how our movement operates, doesn't it? Uh, uh, Bobby, very much around what you said, just to support this, that I do hope that all the hubs, but I can only speak for Wikimedia Europe, of course, uh, are an added value to the movement and not uh, a burden or a bottleneck or yet another step to reach the visibility, the potential, the resources that all the wonderful people that are working in our movement and volunteering in our, well, volunteering is also work, right? Just a very special one. Um, 
uh, that that they can basically realize their full potential and do what they think is right for our projects and and for the humanity. That was a big bell. Yeah, I know. So that's my hope. Uh, and of course, uh, operationalizing it is in a way that I think that uh, we need a lot of coordination on those many levels. First of all, the levels of, in terms of Wikimedia Europe, of our members, um, uh, which is the European affiliates. Then, of course, we started, or I should have said that we started coordinating a bit more regularly, I hope, with CE Hub. So uh, to our African friends, I uh, want to say that uh, I think it works for us that there are two different hubs in Europe. We just have different functions and we also want to support you very much in your capacity building activities because you excel at it and why would we go into the space that you uh, occupy so well. But of course, if we are of help in anything you do, I hope you know that uh, that we are there to, to be there for you and by extension for your members. Some of them are also our members, so... It's also uh, so it can be done, right? Like it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, exclusive space. Uh, the other thing is that is a more longer perspective for us is how Wikimedia Europe is useful to the global movement, and we will have this discussion hopefully ongoing. We have to just roll it out gradually, just because these are important conversations, and we need to be able to have the bandwidth and focus to have them. But let me just bring one example. I think Europe is a very special continent. It has a lot of to answer for to the rest of the world because of European uh, uh, legacy of colonialism and also because of the resources that are in Europe. And I do hope that Wikimedia Europe with other European partners becomes a body that uh, transfers a lot of the resources and a lot of platform to other parts of the world and our movement. And I, I do think that all the hubs that are here now incubating and have those wonderful energy to, to grow will be our partners in this. And we can understand better what are your needs, because this is not the job that we can design, right? Like we need to know what are your needs and how we can be instrumental in this. And definitely for you, George, for the Francophone, I already have ideas how we can make sure that you get the training you need in the language you need. Um, I mean, I don't know what will come out of it, but there are ideas, right? So, so I also hope that because we are, and it's not because we're special, we're like any other hub, but we are in this special place that just has many things that, that all our movement can participate in. I think that's one of the crucial roles that long term such structures as ours and hopefully also North American hub, for example, can have, right? It's not only to build the ivory tower in Europe and uh, keep our affiliates happy and, and well organized and well supported. No, it's to say, hey, what is the way to actually make sure that the movement benefits from it? Um, so, uh, and to me, it's a happy challenge. It's difficult and it requires a lot of, and we probably will do a lot of uh, mistakes of assumption that hopefully uh, you can help us clarify, but, uh, but I think that uh, it's a, uh, it, it potentially is a great opportunity. Um, also for everyone here. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for mentioning uh, this important part of this whole transition phase, because this is how at least uh, I see it and lots of you mentioned, but like uh, the this existence of privileges that we should be and we are hopefully aware of and this like fair distribution it's like crucial part of that and we are like we are not uh, forgetting this and thanks for mentioning it's super important and as well um, Sadiq what about your hopes and maybe fears okay so um, my hope is that we provide in the next six months, we are able to provide practical solutions to as many language communities as possible, especially challenges that we identified in the previous research uh, in terms of making the incubator very um, user-friendly and accessible. And then my hope is that we have as many affiliates joining us as possible. As I mentioned, we are looking at more affiliates being part of the, uh, you know, the Language Diversity Hub initiative. And my hope also is that we get some of the, like Wikimedia Norway, they were able to provide some of their staffing hours to our work, which makes it very easier for us to continue the work, even though we did not have funding for the past like um, nine months that we were waiting. So we hope that other athletes can provide this kind of support to the 
project and they will not take their members out of their work because uh, some of them are full-time staff working with different affiliates and they are very useful to our work. We want to have them still being part of us. So we want to have this kind of relationship with the affiliates so that they can continue to provide their uh, human resource to us so that we can continue to grow. Um, my fear is that um, we just the opposite. We will not have this kind of key members. For example, Amir, who is very integral in the steering committee, Jon from Wikimedia Norway, and several other technical people that everybody know. They are very useful to us right now, but my fear is that they may get overwhelmed with their work. So we also want to f define a transition process where some of them can transfer their um, you know, skills and experiences to other steering committee members like myself and uh, Mali and you know, Sadip and all of that. So that's my fear that we will lose some of these people because of their capacity with um, or engagement with other chapters and athletes. Yeah. Thanks, Sadik. I think you as well covered some of your maybe basic needs, which which is uh, something we wanted as well to share. D depends on the time, but thanks for that, Anthony. Yeah, thank you. The same question. Yeah, I think the question is around the hope and fear, right? Good. So um, I feel like uh, on the side of hope, hubs will be the good environment for collaboration, to, en to enhance collaboration. There are some kind of efforts that we see around collaboration, but through existence of hubs, it will be more good environment for this collaboration to exist. So here I'm talking about sustainability of our movement. So the second thing uh, is around uh, partnership. Right now, it's very difficult to forge partnerships uh, on an individual basis for communities, let's say with bigger institutions. But uh, through hubs, it will be very possible for even bigger institutions or organizations to listen, like, okay, okay, there is something concrete within the region. So yes, partnership is very important. Then also uh, recognition. A lot of work we do around the movement, uh, contributing to Wikipedia uh, and to other Wikimedia projects. But you might find that most of the, let's say, governments, they don't even recognize that there are these people who work hard to make uh, this inform information available in their region. Because we are like so local. Yeah, we are, when, when the foundations knows you, but not necessarily that the authority that uh, is that in that place knows you. So having hub, it's like uh, helps to you know strengthen the voice around that kind of region. Region, yes. So my fear is that um, existence of hub might have some kind of interruptions in in functioning with the other local communities, let's say user groups or thematic organizations, because at some point you find that there are intersection points on this. Uh, uh, working of these activities. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Thank you, Anton. It's, um, at least from my point of view, interesting to observe it, how you already like uh, profiling yourself uh, in like different directions and covering different areas. Hopefully this is something that we will be doing in the next, next phase as well. Thanks. So what about SAP, the hopes and maybe fears? Uh,要求这个区域的合作 那我在这边也鼓励大家说，其实，呃，呃，维基里面的每一个结构都有它自己服务的目标跟对象。那呃，即使你不在这个hub的服务范围，你还是可以做一个维基人，而且得到自己的空间，所以呃，希望大家不要
but we understand that with the establishment of hub, there are communities that will, are considering that if they are not included in the hub. And Iraq wanted to encourage for those people who feel like being in, uh, not included. Um, he feels like the, each entity in our movement have its own purpose and its stakeholders. If they, feel, um, they are um, eventually not being included in the hub, it doesn't mean that they are not included in the movement. We are all still Wikimedians, and they will eventually find their own places within the movement. Um, this is for Reg, and I also have some of my own reflection on your question about fears and hopes. Uh, I am a supporting member in the ECEP Preparatory Council as a translator for Reg, but I've been to every meetings. Uh, we have meeting twice. Uh, once a two week, and funny is that I've been hearing that the governance structure is the le the the least thing that everyone wanted to touch upon. But somehow that ECF uh, started with the governance structure, and we are soon will have our third election of the committee in Manila. So we are learning election as a group in our region. And without really knowing what is our like pioneer project to do, and in the beginning, I was really have a fear that it's going to collapse our whole region because everyone have a different mindset. But I also see that within the two years, um, our meetings are all gathering around what's uh, the movement charter also uh, been through the who are the members and, and the election and the different seats. Um, it's frustrated, but I also see that um, we are still staying here and some people step away, but they still f uh, having their other focus, either as Wikimania, either as conference. And we stay the tradition to have summit and conference, which um, we are not sure what the hub will mean for us, but we still have this gathering. And even though it's kind of like conceptually a hub already, so I guess uh, I see fear in both in this whole um, process. Just my own reflection. Thank you. Thanks, Joy and Rika. It's interesting to what I'm hearing as well that maybe unlike the this platform for solving this puzzle of um, governance structure, you find uh, maybe a space to actually create a community about like uh, the other topics as well, and maybe the supporting community that's like essential even to create a regional hub. And thank you for mentioning uh, fear of inclusion versus exclusion of, uh, of uh, the one who may not be members, but belongs in the region and definitely belongs in the movement. Thanks. Three minutes left. Yes. Ruby, can maybe okay. some some shorter one? Yeah, I have a shorter one. Sorry about it. So um, the fear is that we hope that um, the West Africa hub doesn't just become a hub for English-speaking Africa. And not that we are thinking that we want to become a hub for English-speaking Africa, but it's the way that the French communities, because West Africa is also made up of um, French-speaking communities. And most of the time, like um, Georges was mentioning, a lot of documentations are happening in English. And even though we've had some kind of um, volunteers who help to translate the conversations, it's very obvious that West Af French-speaking communities <laughs> don't feel comfortable in English dominant, and they don't speak a lot. So we don't get that much information from that community. And we really want to have more people from that, more voices from that, so that we can work collaboratively and also work with Wikifranca because that also poses that we really need to work in line with Wikifranca and try to see where we can align our goals and strategies. And the future for us is to come up with a 
robust strategic plan that is tailored to the need of the West Africa community in a sense that we're not overlapping and we are also um, being very strategic and intentional and making sure that all voices are represented because it's not just about affiliate recognized group, but we, we, we become a hub for Wikimedians in that community. Yeah, so that's just my thought. Thank you. Thanks for sharing this important background as well. Barbara, you haven't... Yeah, but just like super short. Because super short. Okay. Yeah, so my hope is that uh, two things like short, that people, volunteers from steering committee, like who are steering the direction, will keep their enthusiasm because it's a lot of work and the dedication. And it's been now a while. We are not like super fresh. And on the other on the other side, also that the support that we are providing now with uh, our areas, that it's really something that uh, communities uh, that it will continue to be something that the communities need and also that we will keep listening and hearing and being able to adjust our plans and in next year suggest some new things and readjust our program because uh, some things, if we do good evaluation, we will also realize what's not good that we are doing and then reshape it so that we will be able to change together with the communities. Thanks. I know it doesn't look freshest today, but it will get better. Thanks. So, um, uh, thank you all guys. Uh, there is maybe uh, time for one question. I was going to bring it to a close. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that thank okay? Yeah. Sure. That, no, thank you, Clara. Thank you. So, uh, I mean, just in the interest of time, um, there will now be a mailing list for hubs. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, but it's, it, no, don't, don't be too impressed. We hope that the conversation won't happen on the mailing list so much. We're, we're also proposing a regular gathering uh, online, of course, uh, which will happen about every eight weeks or so. So this will be the first order of business. Uh, and, uh, you know, we hope everyone who has been speaking uh, this morning will be present for these meetings. These meetings will be open, of course. Uh, and uh, the, what we'll use the mailing list for perhaps will be to uh, discuss an agenda ahead of each of, of these meetings. Is that a good place to leave it, Clara? <laughs> Do you reckon? Okay. Uh, uh, thank you all very much, and we'll leave you for lunch. We'll see you later. Yeah.